when you're with your boys, boys. How you gonna play me when I put your clothes, clothes? The one that you be wearing when you're with your doors, doors. You know you never thought that I would have the nerve, the nerve. Think about it more since you had the curve, the curve. Blowing up my pants, say you want a chance, a chance. Then when I'm playing, please. I'm not the one. Say it again, say it again, say it again. It's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, and of course, tap that notification bell. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up? What's good? Welcome back. So today I'm here with a unit by Outre from their Perfect Hairline series, and this unit's name is Shanice. Shanice Nicole, if you watching, hey girl. <laughs> Shanice is a fully hand-tied 13 by six lace frontal. So you saw in the beginning how there is parting space 13 inches across and six inches back. It does come with your two combs over on the side and a comb in the back with adjustable straps. It also comes with an elastic band. This wig is heat safe up to about 375 degrees, 400 degrees. It does come with Swiss lace and it also comes with baby hairs. The main thing they're trying to highlight with this line is that it's supposed to be a perfect hairline. And from what I can tell right now, I feel like the hairline looks pretty decent, but I'll get more into that later. Let me give you a quick 360 of the unit. Now, although I do really like the way Shanice comes straight out the pack, I really like this style and I do like the flip over that I did. I do want to experiment with one style with her. I think I want to try half up, half down. And I want to apply some heat to her to see how she looks. So if you want to see that and hear about my pros and cons, keep on watching. All right, so let's just dive into the pros. The very first pro to this unit for me is the texture. You know that I love a nice kinky straight wig and this feels so nice to the touch. It is very soft. As I glide my fingers through, I'm barely receiving tangling. I am receiving a little bit of shedding, but tangling is definitely minimal. I think Outre is really getting kinky straight textures right. I love Misha 203. That feels so good to me and I'm getting a similar feel with the Shanice unit here, except that Shanice is just straight blown out all the way through, whereas Nisha 203 has more of a, um, like a curled style to her towards the ends. I also like the cap on this wig. I think it is big head friendly. As far as ear to ear, I mean, it, it's coming to my ear, but it's not really coming all the way down here on the sides. I do notice that with some wigs, it's almost as if like there's just some lace missing here. Like we're just not gonna bring this all the way down here. Okay, that's fine. In regards to the perfect hairline, uh, I wouldn't say it's like the perfect hairline because I have seen the hairlines in some of the other units from this series and to me, the hairline still came off a little bit boxy and to me, Shanice is no different. I would definitely go in and pluck this unit a little bit more. I think because of the color, it's coming across a little bit more seamless in, in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments down below as far as this hairline. I will say I absolutely love the lace on this unit. I'm a dark skinned girl. It is definitely dark brown friendly. I'm here for it. If you look here, you'll see that, you know, when I put this up against my skin, it was darker than the skin of my hand, which doesn't happen often. And I also want to compare it to this other lace here, which was, I think, from a Janet Collection wig. Both are brown laces. But both work for me just the same. I just want to show you that, you know, not all brown lace is made equally. So texture's popping, style is popping. As far as the cons, I would say this elastic band isn't really doing much for me. I feel like I could have done without it. To me, it feels a little cheap. Yeah, I don't know about the elastic band, which is surprising to me because the elastic band on the unit I just reviewed by Outre, the um, Rowena unit, that elastic band was doing its job. So I don't know why they just don't use the same elastic band throughout all of the units that have one. Another con to me, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's a con per se, but this color, 
It's a little hard for me, y'all. I've tried the 2T30 color once before on another Outre wig, actually, <laughs> about a year ago, Outre Coco. I do have a review for that unit. And it just felt like it was blending into my skin, and I'm feeling the same way looking at this now. I just feel like it's blending in. Yeah, I see what they were trying to do, but I just know I wouldn't choose this again for my complexion. I think on someone else, I'm sure it will look great. You let me know what you think in the comments down below. But I do think that the color is pretty the way, you know, it has this the 30 at the tips. I think that's really pretty. So for me, Shanice, the pearls definitely outweigh the cons. I think she's a gorgeous unit. And I really wish I got her in number two because that is my natural hair color. I was just trying to do something different because I saw that Sherelle, aka Natural Joy, did the darker natural color. And I was like, maybe I should try a color. But I should have just did a number two. <laughs> now, I want to try two things. I want to try styling her and see how I like her. And I also want to try applying heat to her. So, I want to do a half a pack down. So, if you want to see that, keep on watching. Alright, so this is what Shanice looks like in the half a pack down style. And I think she looks pretty cute. Tell me how you feel about this style in the comments down below. Y'all know I love when y'all talk to me. So my boo Kai Rashawn actually inspired me to style my hair this way because after I saw her style the Aaliyah wig from Outre's new Melted Hairline series, I was like, oh bitch, that is too cute with the two little ponies. And I liked how she put the bangs right here. So I was like, I wanna do something like that. So thank you, best friend. But yeah, I think she looks cute like this. Would I wear her like this outside? I'm not sure. I would just have to make sure everything is okay and laying well on over here because, you know, this could easily blow in the wind. I would have to hook that up. But I think she looks pretty cute like this. All right, so now it's time to experiment with some heat, okay? So I'm gonna take this out and we're gonna hop to it. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm about to part her in the middle and I'm just gonna use my handy dandy blow dryer brush. You guys have seen me use this brush a few times with my, um. Oh my God, these earrings are getting on my nerves. Let me take them out. So y'all have seen me use this brush quite a few times with the new sensational units from their Kings and Curls line, the Alpha Woman and Boss Babe. Really like how it turned out. So I'm about to use it on this wig right here. And let's see what she's hitting like. Okay, let me get like an actual part going. So I just want to show you guys again what this blow dry brush does. The heat does come out of the top half of the brush. As you can see, this side is more sleek. Don't confuse that with the texture changing. The texture is still definitely kinky straight. It's just a sleeker kinky straight. So this is what the hair looks like straight out the pack with no heat applied. It's a blowout texture, which is gorgeous. Let's say you wanna switch it up and you don't want it to be like this poofy, you can use this blow dry brush to make it look more sleek. But just be mindful, once you make it like this, it's not gonna revert back to this. It's synthetic hair. So however you change it with heat is how it will remain. Wow, I like this, you guys. Oh, she feels good. She still has her kinky straight texture. She's just a little bit sleeker. This is an option for those who may like the wig but may not want the poofier look. Yeah, I like this too. I like the wig both ways. To me, it's all beautiful. Let me know what you think about this unit in the comments down below. Which style did you like the best? Were you feeling the half up, half down style? Do you like how she looks just straight out the pack the best? Or do you prefer her blown out with as a sleeker, kinky, straight look? Please let me know because, you know, I like to chat with you guys in the comments. 
I think this hair is absolutely gorgeous and she is definitely worth the 50 or 52 dollars that I paid. I just love the hair. The hairline again I think could be more pre-tweezed but that's up to preference and you can definitely tweeze more. I love the lace color. Yeah this is just a beautiful gorgeous wig and if you want to see in a natural color I think it was like a 1B number 2 color check out Natural Joy's video because she did a really good job with hers. But yeah y'all this is pretty. I'm really feeling her and I think this the fact that I'm wearing this orange is actually working for this hair color. Hmm I'm actually starting to like it a little bit. What? <laughs> I like this. Oh my God, I feel so spring ready in my home. Even though the only place I can go is to the freaking living room. <laughs> now, if you are new to my channel, be sure to tap that subscribe button. And if you want to see more heat, more videos from me, tap that notification bell so that you don't miss out. We are on the road to 10K and I must say, I'm so pleased and happy to be at this point of my YouTube journey. To all of you joining the family, welcome. Glad to have you here. Let's keep rocking, let's keep slaying together. And of course, if you wanna check out some of my latest videos, you can see them here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.